Yay, we made it to our lake. Got all our stuff. You throw on the GoPro. And we're gonna get fishing. That's reassuring. That's good. That's good. I love seeing open water when I. Okay. There's open water. <laughs> Found it. Nice going, Dad. See, we're getting closer. Six. Oh, Dad. Feet. Hope it wasn't a false alarm. Oh, it's not. There's something on there. He's on, whatever he is. Dang it. All right, this is the crappie I just caught. Absolute tank. I took a picture. Maybe if I catch like a absolute slab, then yes. Oh, Mark, 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 Mark. There's marks on this thing like crazy, Dad. Okay, so I just got that crappie with me. We're fishing like 12 feet of water. Suspended. So I'm catching them suspended. They're spending about six to eight feet of water. I'm just have my little tungsten jig going like this. You gotta have patience and you will, you can catch me here. See, there's a mark. I missed one. Got one. Dang it! I think I've got some. Ooh, bye bye. Same time. Got one. Get tangled up. There we go. Look at that, Dad. Another nice eater crappie. I'm sitting here editing this video. I'm. I wasn't going to do anything about it, I was going to say something in the description, but I'm sorry about the string in front of the GoPro. I didn't realize it until like an hour and a half, maybe two hours into fishing that it was just hanging there. 
So, I mean, I get rid of it, but sorry. It's there right there. What can you do? This is all you can catch out of here sometimes, this creek channel. Another nice, nice size crappie there. Guys, what this lake basically is, is like it's a man-made lake, but it's fed by a creek. So we're fishing that creek bed. There's like 12 feet of water here. And I'm getting marks and I'm getting fish right in this water. I'm just jigging it normally. It's like how you would jig a tungsten jig. See, there's a mark coming for it. Oh, I missed him. It's a tank. That is an absolute tank bluegill. That is, put it in your mouth. Holy cow. I just caught it. That's spectacular. That's a, that's a master angler. 39. Wow. Master 39. angler. That's the eater right there. Alright, we just caught a nice bluegill and the camera wasn't on, so I'm gonna hopefully hope this thing will produce a little bit more, hopefully. There's like something here. Kind of cover or tree or something. Got him. That didn't go too well. Oh yeah. Oh. Got a flag. I got him. Oh my god. Whatever it is, it's a, it's a tank. Oh god. It was pulling too. Oh, whatever that was was huge. It's because I slid. It took too long. See that? That's another. I mean, these are producing crappie. These are awesome crappie. Please have. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. My whole life, I've been trained for this moment. Oh yeah. <sighs> yeah, he was there. God. He got the fishy. I want to put one like right over there. Well, guys, that was really fun. Lost a pike, another one. That's our third one of the day that we have lost. Still waiting to pull one through the ice. Sure, we'll get there. Just gotta wait another four hours. They have a flag. Oh, that that's cash. Cash. You can put this thing on a tip up. Yep. Now I'm on fire in this hole. Oh, it's a tank. When you can lip a bluegill, you know it's a pretty good sized fish. Oh, I wasn't letting them get in those trees for crap. Guys, we had one on this tip up before, and he went ahead. Oh, he's tagged. He's tagged. He's tagged. So we're supposed to do to record his weight or measurement. We're supposed to get a measurement. All right, this might be a new PB, honestly. As far as length goes. Yeah, like 31. There you go. Got one. Oh. Yeah, he's on a break, man. He was going, so he's on there. 
Oh yeah, we got weight. Everything's adding up. Yep. You can, I'm gonna, do you have anything to cut like a really large hole in the ice? Did that flag pop up right as you looked at it? Yeah, I mean, I was starting to walk over here and it popped up. It, it was not up and I was gonna walk over here and just look in and like. Uh, it's cause it's four, it's after four. So they're biting now. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. It's in your jig it vertically, just like this, up and down. And marks come on, and I'll slow her down and hope something's ready to eat. See if he wants it. Big bluegill, dude. That's just another tank. Okay, I just finished editing this video and I was trying to find the video of like me ending the day and I don't know what happened to it. So I'm basically gonna do my little recap here right now as I'm editing it. Anyway, that was an okay day, I'd say, because that's a lake that <clears throat> I've been fishing for like a year and I've been doing it wrong every single time. This was the first day I'd caught fish. I originally went to that lake to catch pike like a year and a half ago, maybe, not even a year and a half, a year. And uh, that was my first pike I've ever caught there through the ice. I'm, I love being an ice angler. I love just everything about fishing, basically. I think that's very um, apparent. This year I'm hoping to really vamp things up and try to know what I'm doing at least half the time. But yeah, what we were doing basically, what I was doing the whole day was I was just, I mean, we popped probably 20, 25 holes in the area we were fishing. And we'd bounce around if we didn't get bites in 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and we'd just bounce around, keep moving and try and get some fish and I caught a lot more fish than my dad but that's only because I had the Vexilar and he didn't. Anyway what I was doing like my tactic the entire day was just tungsten jigs tipped with a wax room just sitting there jigging. I'm sorry the gopro angles weren't ideal I'm working on that I don't know what's wrong with the fives casing that I can't get it where I want it to be but I'll work on it I think I have an idea on how to fix that but um yeah anyway I was just vertically jigging the whole day basically and then if I wasn't we were on a tip up and we missed literally six tip ups I don't know if they were all on camera I don't think they all were but we missed quite a few that first one when we got stuck on the tree the blue tip up that that fish I was trying to just pull him up as fast as I could so that I wouldn't lose him in the trees and I, I couldn't the fish was stronger than I was so that was a shame but uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video guys I'm not sure how the ice is going to be because here we had a snowstorm I think the ice is fine. I'm planning on going fishing this weekend somewhere for big bass and bluegill and crappie, maybe catfish, I don't know. But um, I'm planning on going fishing somewhere. But yeah, the ice basically, the edges are getting soft on smaller bodies of water, but big ones are pretty all right. Cause we had a snowstorm and there was a little rain before and then snow and all the weight. But we still got solid. I mean, I was out on my pond, my little pond, and uh, we saw a solid 10 inches, 11 inches, and it shaved. It wasn't like spitting cubes or anything when you were drilling. So we were fine. There's just like a little bit of crunchy stuff on top of the water. But it keeps you from slipping, so I'm not mad. But I basically hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I literally said I was going to have this out three days ago, and then I lost the file. So I had to restart tonight, and I finished it. So that's all the footage I've got. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in a few days.